Yo, what's up guys? You got Pokegame here with a video on some of the new news we got on Zarud, which is the uh, mythical Pokemon coming in Pokemon Sword and Shield uh, with the DLC. I believe it will be allowed June 15th, this Pokemon. That's when it comes out. So that means that the DLC is coming out in, like, at least by June 15th, right? I believe that's what it means. So anyway, I talked a little bit about this Pokemon before, and this was before we knew any information, and um, I was saying that it's... You know, it's a monkey Pokemon, and most of them have some sort of fighting move, so that it would get close combat. And then later, it was confirmed that it got close combat, so pretty happy about that. Dark Grass is all right if it's fast, but we have a new signature move today that was revealed, and it's really interesting because it could be very, very, very relevant in uh, the metagame. Of course, this is all theory modding, so this is just all me talking based on on theory. Now, this is law, and this is just fun for me, and I want to know you guys' thoughts as well. So. It has this new signature move called Jungle Healing, and we'll just read what it says. Once Zarude reaches level 90, it can learn Jungle Healing, a unique move only Zarude can learn. In this grass-type status move, the Pokemon wraps its vines around trees and absorbs their energy, then releases that energy combined with its own. Healing power radiates around the area and heals both the user and its ally Pokemon, restoring their HP and curing them of any status condition. So, in doubles, it heals not only you, but your ally, and it also cures them of any status condition. Now, of course, we don't know how much this actually heals. If it's like a life do type of thing, uh, if it's like a synthesis type of thing. Um, if it's synthesis, 50% is crazy because not only do you heal yourself 50%, but it's basically, it's not a full restore, but it's a half restore, right? So you heal yourself to half or of half of your HP, and then you'd be healing your status. Now, the reason this is actually really good because of Zero, uh, Zero, I'm so sorry, Zerud's uh, typing, being grasped, it can switch in relatively easily to most Toxic Bex since they usually only run Scald as their offensive option or Knock Off, which are Dark types, so you resist, and uh, Scald from Size and Toad. And I'm sure that even though the DLC would be coming out and we'll have hopefully new options for Dracovish as well coming with that, I'm sure that uh, Size and Toad will still be relevant so you can easily switch in on Scalds and Toxics and of course, it still works in doubles, but um, it's not going to be useless in singles, right? It's still going to heal you, most likely, and restore your status. So you can switch in on Scalds, you can switch in on those Toxics, and uh, beat them with your natural typing. Uh, we know that this Pokemon has access to Power Whip, if I'm not mistaken. We know it has access to Close Combat. Um, and I really like this. Now, the thing that actually intrigues me a little bit more, and this is just going to be a relatively short video, and like I said, I want to know your thoughts, is that... Uh, right here, note within Pokemon Sword and Shield, only Zarude can learn Jungle Healing. However, it is possible other Pokemon may be able to learn this move in future games. Now, there are a few Pokemon that come to mind when I think of Jungle Healing and Vine and things like that. First off, Ferrothorn. Ferrothorn is one Pokemon that comes to mind. Its head is literally on attached to like vines or whatever, and it uses Power Whip and things like that. So, I, if, if Ferrothorn has access to Jungle Healing, right, that not only gives Ferrothorn reliable recovery, outside of what it had in Leech Seed, but that also means that the ways that a lot of people dealt with Ferrothorn uh, I mean, going all the way back to black and white, right? How do we deal with it? We wrote and wash. We will wisp it, and we vol switched out, or we had HP fire for later. Uh, Hidden power, though, not an option right now, currently. But if Ferrothorn gets that, um, it's going to be interesting because it means that Ferrothorn can even be a sort of quote unquote status absorber. Not only having its recovery, like you don't need to have Leech Seed, right? You could have like Knock Off, Power Whip, a Body Press. I mean, I guess your Hazard would mix in there too. But if Ferrothorn is one of the Pokemon to get this, it would really, really benefit it, right? On balanced teams and. Even Shu, if you want an offense with Ferrothorn. Ferrothorn got some good attack too, but on stall as well. So that will be really interesting to see if uh, Ferrothorn gets that. Another mod that came to mind is Venusaur. I think Venusaur is a very good Pokemon. And if this move does heal at least half of your health, uh, again, if it's like Life Dew being less, then uh, it's not going to be as good. Though for Ferrothorn, that 25% or so recovered in a singles battle is like very, very good, right? But um, if it's like Synthesis... Why would Venusaur run Synthesis when it can run this? Again, repeatedly being able to switch into moves like Scald, which is what Venusaur does, uh, can still run Leech Seed, Sludge Bomb, you know, Giga Drain, and then also have potentially the Jungle Healing. Those are two Pokemon that came to mind, a few others, I guess, uh, Tropius, or if it's even, or Tropius, if it's even back in the game. And let me actually look really, really quickly through the Grass types in the tier as well. Uh, anything with Vines, because I'm sure there's some that I am missing. Um, so yeah, Bulbasaur, uh, I guess Vileplume maybe could be another one. Uh, maybe even Celebi. Like, it doesn't have to be based on Vile. I mean, Celebi, we saw the movie. Shift Tree. Yeah, let me not even just give it to most grass types, honestly. Um, 
I don't, actually, I don't think most would get it, but uh, I, I think a, a decent amount can get it for sure. I think Rillaboom for sure, it has, look at its hair. I think Rillaboom for sure can get it. So I want to know your guys' thoughts on that. I just thought the interesting part was the fact that uh, that meant that maybe Ferrothorn would get it. I feel like Ferrothorn is one of the more uh, realistic Pokemon just based on the way Ferrothorn looks, its aesthetics and whatnot. And same thing with Venusaur as well. It attacks with the vines. So yeah, let me know your thoughts, guys. Uh, feel free to leave a like and uh, yeah, subscribe for more. I'll see y'all later today uh, on stream. And I also uploaded um, a BL Nights earlier today, the final episode of the BL Nights for this season. So thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.